गाइस वेलकम टू माय चैनल बैक अगेन आई विल बी टॉकिंग ऑफ द वर्ल्ड्स मोस्ट अनसॉल्व्ड मिस्ट्रीज नॉट इवन द ग्रेटेस्ट साइंटिस्ट कैन सॉल्व व्हिच इज द फॉर्मी पैराडॉक्स फॉर्मी पैराडॉक्स इज वे कॉम्प्लिकेटेड देन वी थिंक सो आई विल एक्सप्लेन यू व्हाट इज फॉर्मी पैराडॉक्स make sure to like the video hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell for so you don't miss out our new videos okay so for me paradox is what we call extraterrestrial life so what do we do so for me paradox also includes time which includes the kashkazev scale which is type 1 there are four scales type 1 type 2 type 3 and type 4 so all of these four scales are working to make time so right now our current scale is 0.75 we aren't in type 2 nor type 1 we are waiting till the next um, 100 centuries is for type 1 so what to do in type 1 so if you have started with type 1 already we have to first try to get all the resources we can all the light we can all the resources we can all from the earth and which the planet we live in or any planetary system on the second phase now we have to take take all the energy from our nearby star which is the sun the concept like the dyson sphere before sun becomes a white dwarf we have to do this then escape our type 3 is to escape our universe and take that galaxy's whole energy now to us the problem is how to carry all that energy now we have a unlimited source of energy with endless source of energy infinite which no one could generate next what to do next we have done a galaxy now our sabse last fort now we have went to a galaxy done everything colonizing the our whole system let's say if you want to colonize planets this is earth this is mars this is jupiter this is saturn this is uranus so like that we go each by one in a very complicated pattern it will take a lot of time but it's the last so like this one this is uranus one this is make make like this this whole planetary system goes guys now i have explained the kashkazev scale let's talk about fermi paradox okay the first type we can think about fermi paradox or any if type so we are starting with the real stuff here i have explained you the basics you need to know and if you are any he thing related to space like astrologers scientist neural i mean space scientist please is you can still hear this so our space which is a galaxy is a small a circle like a not bulging like that a perfect sphere of a planet it's not bulging it's not big it's not cubey it's not squishy yes it is squishy but imagine you are holding a slime is holding like a circle shape like the universe full of dark matter at least 70% of our universe is dark matter think of it dark matter as salt slowly becoming bigger that means that's a explanation of a universe expanding 
Think of these fingers getting closer. But as the closer you get, this whole finger becomes more gigantic. So, it works like that. We are 5 minutes into our video. Let's continue. So, guys, now, we are talking about a Fermi paradox. Now, if we are really alone, so first let's talk about our planets. There are concepts like the photons or the branches. So, branches are, means, this is, think of this as the earth. This tiny little finger. And think of these massive views as our branches. The earth has to follow at least a lot of these branches as challenges. Like you see on games of Call of Duty. Like such. And then, it's like you have to pass in each of these difficulties. So, it, it is that... It is not easy to create life after all. That we have very lim a limitful uh, amount of stuff we have. We have a very small amount of stuff we know about Fermi Paradox. So, Fermi Paradox can also be anywhere. Means it can evolve. Like there are life in Venus. Yes, bacteria, microphages. They are still there. So, it can be true that we are not the only ones in this life. Most teachers prove it, but most astrologers prove it that we are not alone. Or if we are actually very alone, we have to be the first to, to take all the space stuff, take everything, take everything from the universe and go before every the universe gets banned. And dark matter closes so we'll be the first and the last nothing will be left in our universe but it says that Andromeda galaxy and Milky Way galaxy where we live is going to combine and crush itself to form a new galaxy we'll be left earths also and our whole universe will still be a darkened matter. So, guys, please hear this out right now. Our universe is still expanding. And if dark matter stays in there till the end, this will go whole collapse. But this collapsing can and take extraterrestrial life to a whole new level where we get to chances to explore extraterrestrial life. I've watched a lot about them, lost a lot of movie, alien movies, but they can't be twos. The incidents in Area 51, like a kind of a UFO, kind of a big UFO, it looked like it, like a pill shaped little round thing around it. Yeah, there was a small picture only until one guy in Area 51 got it. Area 51 proves that extraterrestrial life exists and so do we. Right now, this is our palms, this is our face, this is our whole life. We are the biggest life we can ever evolve and be happy to be that. So, thanks for watching. If you know more about extraterrestrial life, have more information about it, please let us know in the comments. And I'll also like to note that a lot of family channels, gaming channels are also in trouble because of YouTube's new policies. So, please guys, please help with this. So, guys, bye. Meet you in the next video. Smash the subscribe button. Hit that like button, share this video with all the astrologists, all the smart people you can find. And tell them to find more about our Fermi Paradox. And I'll also say all how the, the 
the universe end i'll also explain that in another video thank you for watching nag family so guys bye